These are Iran's Azadegan oil fields near the Iraqi border, believed to be the largest oil fields in the Middle East. The area is estimated to have reserves of nearly 33 billion barrels. And President Hassan Rouhani's government is looking for foreign investors to help oil fields like Azadegan reach their potential. That is not an easy task. Iran's oil industry, the lifeline of its economy, was hit hard by international sanctions, which have cut petroleum exports by half. Everybody in whole regime, including supreme leader and uh, security uh, organizations in the, in, the, in the whole regime, know how difficult the whole situation is. A provisional agreement last week with Royal Dutch Shell to develop two large oil fields is the latest sign of interest in Iran from international energy companies. And many here believe that's just the start. There is uh, even uh, not an ambiguity for foreign investors, but also uh, a willingness. And that's, uh, that, uh, a proof to that is uh, that we have received more than 200 uh, trade missions within the past uh, one, one and a half years. But even critics of the new Iran petroleum contract, which focuses on joint ventures between foreign and Iranian companies with a 20-year term, say President Rouhani didn't have much choice but to change the outdated oil contract systems. Without new investment and new technology, uh, oil production of country will decrease year by year. While officials here refrain from pointing out Iran's vulnerability, insisting it's immune to foreign pressures, the election of Donald Trump in the United States will certainly bring a new period of tensions, and that could threaten Iran's efforts to rejoin the global markets. The new wave of agreements here began the day of the U.S. presidential election, but finalizing these deals will be critical for President Rouhani's bid for re-election in May of next year. In his 2013 campaign, he promised to sign the nuclear agreement, get sanctions removed, and improve the economy, most of which has been accomplished, but the fundamental financial problems have not been solved. And that's something many Iranians say they're still waiting for. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.